Hello everybody, hope that you're doing very well and welcome to this cryptocurrency technical analysis where we're back again, we're gonna be going over the really important levels to be trading from right now. I'll be going over the levels which I'm looking at towards the next week to come and obviously the harmonic that we have in play right now. Hope that you really enjoy this video. I'm gonna absolutely love making it for you as I always do. And actually I posted over on Twitter just a few minutes ago, hey, smash the likes to over 100 if you want this. And we actually, actually this was achieved within seconds. As soon as I posted it, I refreshed and we had over 100 likes. So you obviously really want this video. And I'm not surprised, obviously the last update that I gave you, I was making you aware of the resistance we were at and rejecting from right at the time. It was obviously the range point of control. And I said in that video, if we cannot reclaim this level, this is the resistance to be trading from. If we cannot reclaim that resistance as support, we will be heading down lower on the Bitcoin chart. And what actually happens, that was the very high, that was the very high of that move. We were never able to get back above the level. And what happened, we actually dropped down below that weekly once more. Okay, and for the people that love to see those sort of print screens, that was obviously posted in the group. As soon as it happened, as soon as it happened, we knew that was the level to be trading from okay way back way back on the 26th as soon as we hit that level bam we ready we were ready for it basically that was the range point of control that was the resistance that we rejected from and we're obviously back down towards that weekly level once more so if we flip back over to the bitcoin chart you can see here finally obviously that touch that we had off the weekly we slightly front run the low of this channel this is the channel we've had on now for a while okay if we just zoom it out slightly Okay, we can see how this is a really well-respected top. We obviously have this well-respected bottom now with almost, you know, two coming on three touches. Um, really nice upward sloping channel. We can see the daily level of support that's coming in there at $37,615. Below this, we have obviously our important Fibonacci levels. The first one here coming in at 36195 ish This is a zone. Please don't refer to it as an exact dollar. And obviously the lower one there coming in at $34,655. Again, they're both zones, give them $100 either side of it, but these are our two areas of interest. If we are to lose this daily level, of course, if we lose this daily level, it will mean potentially a deviation from the range, which I would personally like, or of course, if we just lose the level and we never reclaim it, then really simply we'll be searching down for our lower levels of support. And if those lower levels of support don't hold, guess what? We can search down towards the weekly. Okay, so it's a level to level trading game. We don't need to get extremely bullish. We don't need to get extremely bearish. We need to come here, see the trading setup, take the trade. If possible, lock in that take profit one, move stop loss up to entry. That way you're guaranteed profits, whatever happens. You're in a, a place you know, you're trading from the high ground, you're trading with the advantage in your favor. If you leave yourself in a position where you can say, hey, whatever happens from here, I have made money. The aim of this game is to make money, okay? And how do we do that? We do our technical analysis, we mark out our levels, and we're ready and waiting for those reactions. Once that we've got that reaction, we enter the trade with no hesitation, no emotions, take the trade. The worst that can happen is you can lose the trade. And if you have your risk management in place, it really is not the end of the world, okay? We're not aiming for 100% win rates. We're aiming for decent win rates, okay? And we keep those winners big, we keep those losses small, and we just play that same game every single day of the week. Okay, so obviously the, these are our levels of interest to the downside. Once again, I think this daily is really nice because of the fact it's on this upward sloping channel. We've obviously now, you we know, we've, we've created that daily, got a bit of a bounce, but I want to really refer you to this at the moment, this high, low, lower high, lower low. Obviously we came up here for a lower high above that daily, okay? We come back down for a lower low, lower high, and once again, a lower low. So obviously, and locally, we're in this bearish market structure. A reclaim of this daily is really going to start to convince me, okay, bulls are at least getting a little bit of a sign of strength here initially, okay? Have this nice SR flip on the daily. You know, it's a really quite a nice level of resistance above this. It's coming in at about $40,000, yeah? This $40,000, again, it's a bit of a zone. It's a bit of a region. It's not an exact dollar. Give or take a little bit either side. But we can see that daily on around the SR flip, on around that $40,000 psychological level above that there's not too much resistance above us okay a little bit around 41 and then obviously the bigger daily coming in there around forty three thousand four hundred twenty three dollars at the moment um so you know this is the way that i'm approaching it okay i personally feel that the long off of this 
the long of the daily, which in my opinion was a bit of a failed auction. I did not take that long, by the way. I did not take the long, but if I was at my computer, this was a long. This would have been a long I had taken, but I'm not really trading so much these days. Okay, I'm, <clears throat> you know, I'm, I'm, I've got a view like this. I've got people with me. I'm, I'm taking a bit of time off. I'm actually back in now uh, just over one week. Okay, and then I'll be back trading as normal. But as you probably know, I've taken a bit of a vacation while I'm moving house, relaxing, taking a bit of time for myself. Um, but obviously, I'm going to come back with uh, more more enthusiasm, more, uh, you know, all, all I'm doing is like thinking in Spanish all the time right now. It's like, más ganas que nunca, uh, like more excited than ever. I'm, I, I, I truly do miss it, but I also have enjoyed like a bit of a time off, a bit of time to relax, reflect, uh, think about the future, think about my goals, collect that, and then I know what I want, and I'm going to come back stronger. That, I can guarantee you. So yeah, one week, I'll be back. I'm not really actually training this at the moment. But yeah, we had that bit of a failed auction, creating a new daily, obviously offering a potential long setup. Not really, in my opinion, the best in the world. Would kind of like a little bit lower down towards our lower levels of support. But obviously a reclaim of the daily was signified to me, hey, we could, you know, obviously this whole zone is our harmonic zone. Okay, do not forget the harmonic that I showed you. Uh, that's what I, or personally, I'm trading off of. A reclaim of that daily would signify to me with a higher probability that we have put in the low of the harmonic here, obviously the Gartley harmonic I refer to. Um, and yeah, so for at the, at the moment, personally, I'm remaining patient. You know, I will take a trade just because I'm just because I'm not on my computer the whole time. I still have alerts set. I'm still ready for a trade, but I only want to take like the really very best trades. Okay, the really, really, really high probability, really good trade. And for me, that was a short over one month ago. I'm still in that same short that I took one month ago. Yeah, this is still paying me funding every single day. That was a high probability trade after we obviously broke down forming of the, the first harmonic that we were trading. We hit that target of harmonic, we changed our market structure, we had a really easy invalidation. That's a high probability short trade. Short and chill, you know, I you know I love to say it, but if I can get into those shorts, I'm gonna I'm gonna chill in them, I'm gonna stay in them until it's you know really invalidated. And it's not invalidated at the moment in terms of a really big sign of strength. We haven't got that. So I'm more than happy to stay in that short until I see a really, really, really high high probability long trade. Yes, I know we're in the zone for that long, but I have not got an actionable trade, which is really calling to me like this is an amazing opportunity. Okay, I would either do this on a sign of strength, which I've now referred to a few times, sign of strength, or of course lower. Okay, so let's see if we can get that deviation from the channel. Okay, I want to refer you to a few posts here before I end for a little bit of inspiration. I loved actually this one from Lee. He actually said, uh, the average human life expectancy is 76 years. Study with myself and chart champions for two years and enjoy freedom and wealth for the rest of it. And I actually thought, wow, that's such a powerful, powerful, powerful quote. And it's actually totally true. Come into the group, look at the people that have been here for two years and now look where they are. When I was in obviously San Diego, uh, that was now just over a week ago, meeting traders, meeting people from from the group, we obviously done the chart champions meetup. You know, we had a bunch of people that are full time trading, full time trading just from studying and getting involved and you know, in you know, uh, participating with our content inside the group every day. So this is this is for sure true. And you know, you just have to focus. You just have to learn everything that we're teaching. And there's absolutely no reason why you cannot be enjoying the freedom and wealth that you want. You know, it, every, it, it truly is possible. And again, chart champions, I am not here at the moment. I'll be back in just over one week, but you obviously have the rest of the team. Eagle yesterday did an absolutely legendary, really, really good, once again, uh, champions live stream. We had George doing a contenders live stream. You know, the, the content is still unmatchable. You know, we've still got the best content in the game, just as it's not from me over the past month. We still have some of the best coaches in the world helping and assisting you every single day, every single day of the week. If you want to see that live stream from Eagle yesterday, or just head over to chartchampions.com. If you want to listen to what the Wells are doing, go over to chartchampions.com. Uh, Igor, absolute legend, you know, the whole, whole, whole of the team, but that was a good live stream last night. I personally did enjoy it. Uh, also, shout out to George, Mike, Victor, trading assistant, you know, the whole bunch of them. You know, they've been doing really, really, really well uh, while I've been, while, while I've basically been away uh, on vacation. So yeah, I'm gonna go back and enjoy this view for the time being. This was just a quick technical analysis to remind you of some of the levels, you know, letting you know how I'm trading. Again, I'll be back in just over one week's time. And then, you know, I'm not gonna take another vacation for, you know, let's say at least six months. I'm gonna be focused on the charts, doing what I love. Um, I'll be back over in, uh, yeah, just over a week. So there you go, I hope that you've really enjoyed this video. Hopefully you can hopefully appreciate some of the views that we have out here. I mean, it's just absolutely beautiful. Not just the views, but 
everything out here is good. Uh, I'm just going to leave it as that. I'll leave that to your imagination. I'm just going to say once again, thank you ever so much, everybody. I hope that you have enjoyed this technical analysis. I hope that you've taken something from it. I hope you've recorded the levels. And again, if you want to see more, not just from myself, but from the whole team, that's chartchampions.com. You've got the whole team here to support you every single day of the week. So yeah, once again, I'm just going to say thank you. And I'll leave you with that. Cheers, everybody. And I'll see you in the next video that I will create. Cheers and have a good day. Bye.